Hi guys! Isn't Mackie's Coke the best? So today's video is a Mackie's McDonald's mukbang, mukbang, however you want to pronounce it and I'm going to answer some questions so you all can get to know me a bit better and we can just have a chat. These are some of my favourite videos to watch so I hope you enjoy it and let's get into it. Don't judge my Mackie's order by the way because I, I know someone will. It's a bit weird. Before this video starts, I want to shout out my YouTube friend, April Finnegan. I hope I pronounced your second name right. Um, literally love her channel so much. She's the nicest person ever. And she literally so close to 400 subscribers. And her videos are just so good. Um, she has like gift guides, makeup looks, and say or shot it with a boyfriend. So yeah, if that sounds really interesting to you, I'm going to leave her channel down below. And please check it out. It makes me so annoyed that you're not going to be able to see the food, um, but it's just late at night, so this is what you're going to have to deal with. So, hi, I'm Lorraine Dewhurst. If you didn't know me, well, I'm here now. <laughs> you're here now. You may as well just listen, but okay, let's talk through what I got from Mackey's. So, Coke. There's just something about Mackey's Coke. Okay. And I got the nacho cheese wedges. Mmm. I never get them, you know. I, I was feeling a bit like fruity. I was like, mm, let's do it. Oh, what's your favourite? I need to stop rattling the bag and try to speak at the same time. What's your favourite sauce? I love the sweet and sour sauce. Oh, it's just... It's the one. It's just the one. Oh, chip fell out. I got large fries. Aww. They look like a medium. <laughs> I don't know. I need to stop complaining. I've got enough food. And. Um, okay. Oh, some chips at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I love chips so much. Okay. And then I got. A cheeseburger with no meat. Don't come for me, right? McDonald's, if you are ever, ever, ever watching this video, your veggie dippers are disgusting. Hardly any vegetarian even likes them. Where's the corn nuggets? Give us something else. Like, I don't know what went through the head, right? Where they were like, you know what? Let's make veggie dippers and have them in the wrap, a burger, and there's like dippers. Like, where's the variation? It annoys me, but I love cheese. And I'm, are you a gherkin lover or not? I love gherkin so much. So I'm sorry that you can't see it all, but I'm literally going to ramble anyway. So you see the drink. Okay, so I'm going to tuck in, tuck in, you know. I'm getting a bit excited. Let's just have a couple of chips. Mmm. I need to try and eat respectab like respectably in this video because normally I'm at home. I'll grab like five chips and be like. <sighs> but also, if you don't like talking and eating at the same time, this is not the video for you. I am sorry. I'm sorry about that, sweetheart. But these are. This is the hand that life's dealt. Yeah, I feel like Nessa's saying that. <laughs> Anyone else love Gavin and Stacey? Oh my god, let's get on to a few questioni only woo was. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that on the internet. <laughs> oh my god, I'm exposing my real self. Oh my god, okay. Um, I need to put my iPad somewhere um, so you can't see it in me looking. <laughs> oh no, I'm making a lot of noise. Okay. If you could only use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, which one would it be? <gasps> Do you know what? It probably would be Mac if they didn't test on animals, you know. But that just upsets me too much. Um. Hmm. I could live with me may like Maybelline skin. They test on animals as well. Why does everyone have to test on animals? Too Faced. I love their products, and they don't test on animals. I probably could have a them 
forever like just them as well i probably could do that i'm not really trying a lot of brands like i like the odd thing from every brand why am i being so difficult on a makeup question have you actually heard me oops probably two-faced i feel like they have like really good questions questions i've got i've got this q a on the brain they just have good products and they actually have like a good eyeshadow palette like maybelline i can't imagine using an eyeshadow palette from them because i don't have one <laughs> oh let's try a cheese bite next question was what did you want to be when you were like older but when you were younger do you know what i mean um oh my god my cat's in another video um do you know what when i was really young i wanted to be a singer and i always you know like i was in the school choir and i like had so many solos like i actually wasn't even that bad at this <laughs> i've got older my singing is disgusting like it's just it's, it's just not a bit of anyone it's not like I keep wanting to stop and then I know you have to eat and talk at the same time but I find that really difficult. Normally like my boyfriend would shout at me for doing that because I'm there like oh. and he's like and he always complains that I talk like I chew really loud so if I like eat so loud it's just who I am and you're gonna have to get over it or like click on the video but don't dislike it. Thanks. Mm. I After tasting this I just know my stomach is not gonna like this. <laughs> IBS life <laughs> okay let's get back to the chat so I wanted to be that right and then in high school I was like oh I'd love to be a photographer I'm going to photography like I just love that I studied that at A level as well um I really really like that and then I really wanted to be like an interior designer but like when I found out you had to like have some sort of art degree or like something i was like i can't draw anything i'm the worst oh my god why can't i talk and speak eat and speak what am i okay but yeah and then i don't know why i did english as a degree because i'd never wanted to be a teacher or anything like i don't like hate them but like I couldn't just, I can't, like, my, all my friends, well, most of them anyway, are doing, like, PGCs or their teachers, and I don't get how they can do it, like, the back chat, like, I was not, like, I just can't, I, I couldn't do it, like, I just, I mean, I feel like I don't gel well with people, like, children, I feel like I'm just not good at it, like, I, I feel like I do want a family when I'm older, but like I feel like I'm at that weird age now where I'm like, ugh. Oh, Selena. Come on. Sorry about this. <laughs> oh my God, April asked, um, how have you kept busy and like kept your mental health sane during lockdown? Um, see, literally like you need to go and check out her channel. She's the nicest person ever um do you know what the last lockdown i did have like the first two weeks i just like cried and i couldn't do it and then it got to a point where i just became numb i didn't miss anyone didn't want to do anything so but i didn't have my youtube channel then so now i'm trying to film i have to film or edit at least like, i wasn't even going to film today now this is my second video that i filmed because i need to i have to tell myself to get out of bed and film like and keep productive because i'm finding that really difficult um i'm i wish i was one of them people that just enjoyed going on walks and could keep healthy and lockdown and stuff but i just i mean look at me i'm eating a mackies i can't do it like i don't know i feel like my mental health hasn't been that great and i have cried a lot i'm not gonna lie um but I don't know why, like, it's only a month and it, I can go a month without seeing my friends because we've all been to uni and I haven't, that's so different though because I did live with like all my best friends as well. But you know what I mean, like, my like childhood best friends and like some people all like were in Lancaster or 
like when my where am I going with this my like best friend as well like for like a few years was like had uni in Leicester my other best friend was in Lancaster and I've one in Manchester um so I feel like I'm used to it and I used to get to see them all the time so I don't know why I'm upset I think as well I really want to do content with going out because I feel like sometimes you all get bored of me just sat here like you know but um I hope you're all doing okay and you just need to know that this is literally not forever and I just hope that it doesn't get extended right now um it doesn't seem like it is so far but they'll probably I've heard that they're going to review it on the second um because I thought we'd be let out on the second but no they're reviewing it to see like all these national like regional tiers and stuff which ugh, I just let's just say Boris hates the north okay let's do another one fave holiday you've ever been on Amsterdam this time last year me and my boyfriend went to Amsterdam I hate saying me and my boyfriend oh me and Owen went to Amsterdam uh, it was so good I've always wanted to go and I feel like when you're there I could just live there um and I had a girls holiday um two years ago in Budapest and we did Budapest like the festival it was so good like the spa parties the pub crawls like I'd never say the memories from that trip um but they they were just good like you all need a girls holiday or a boys holiday I mean a bit boys holiday would be a lot worse mm. honestly that that whole trip What's your biggest fear? Buried alive. Honestly, I, I actually can't talk about it. I'll get, I'll get really upset. Mm. If you'd only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Do you know what, right? If I could have a meal and like a side, like something I'd always have to eat, it'd be a salad and chips. Like... A really nice like corn chicken salad, Caesar dressing, a bit of feta cheese, and then a side of chips. Like, I love chips. Like I could have them all day, every day if it was acceptable, but it's not. Do you want to see inside my burger? <laughs> They've put one gherkin in. Like does that does that look appetising to you? I I paid ninety nine p for a cheese sandwich. And it's probably more expensive than like Morrison's. Mmm, I dip everything in the sauce, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm literally just going to dip that in. Is that minging? I don't care. Mmm. I got a question, what makes you um, laugh the most? And it's probably memories, like, thinking, like, sat around with all my favourite fa all my favourite friends, talking about um, our favourite memories together. I'll, I'll physically laugh, I'll probably pee myself. P, not <laughs> what is wrong with me but that it just gets me because we have the funniest stories i just i miss it i miss getting drunk like drunken stories i love being drunk with my boyfriend like when me and owen are drunk together well, she like the biggest messes and just, that makes me laugh um, that's just made me like miss everyone all over again. What are your favourite memories of your friends? Comment down below. I feel like drunken memories and like uni memories. <laughs> that just set me off. Um, like there's just so many funny memories like at uni like i feel like they're just they're just like there forever i have like a memory stick as well with all like if you've ever come into contact with me and we've ever taken a picture together it's on this memory stick like i'll not delete it no matter if i'm not friends with them anymore or they're like someone from my past like primary school i just I keep all these pictures because I want to be able to look back on them when I'm older, even if I'm not friends with these people anymore. Oh, God. 
oh my god i burping in video but yeah um would anyone like to see as well like a video exposing my old pictures because i'm thinking of doing it but i don't know if anyone would like that but like i used to, <laughs> i used to look a state i mean you might think i do now but i don't think so <laughs> i'm all about that self-love but i don't know it, it is really funny um i'll probably have to crop my fan my friends out though unless they wouldn't mind um being on but mm. oh god this was just this is just what i needed <laughs> okay someone asked what is your dream career And I hate saying this, but now that I've started doing YouTube and I know that people can have a living off it, making videos for like the rest of my life would be amazing. Like, I don't enjoy anything more. I've always wanted to start it, um, but like this is just such a good hobby as well. But it just makes me, I don't know, now I've started it, I feel like this is just what I was meant to do. And I know that sounds really weird, but... I feel like I just feel so comfortable doing it and I have the best times. I literally, I film so much and I try and get at least five videos out for everyone. And sometimes it is hard to come up with ideas. Um, but I'm one of them people as well. That, and literally someone could, a YouTuber could be sat in bed just chatting away. And I absolutely love that if I love the person. So, but obviously like a lot of people don't know me. <laughs> So I don't want to put content out like that, but yeah. This um, would just be the best thing. But I feel like it's sort of big headed to say that. I know it's not, but sometimes I'm like, people have to like your channel and like watch it a lot. You need quite a big following. I don't know how much... I don't know how many views you need to actually have a good living off of this. I don't know a lot about YouTube, but like, obviously I'd love to do this, but sometimes I have to be realistic because I feel like there are a lot of factors with YouTube, but I love YouTube so much and I would do this forever. Like, I'd love to do this and still be able to do like five videos a week, but if not, I feel like I'd love to do something in digital marketing. Um content writing writing for blog posts and um, managing social media pages anything like that i'd be so happy with um i had i did my master's degree in that and i found it really interesting i've got a mcflurry in the freezer i'm so excited i got a maltese as well they're not they're not doing um the dairy milk ones anymore if anyone is a mcdonald's goer like me um so someone asked what nicknames i have everyone just called me Lars. like my friends call me Lars. i mean my parents don't just turn around like Lozza. um yeah just Lozza, Lozza d anything like that really um i got sauce on me Okay, next question. Um, favourite subject in school? So, English language in high school and A-levels was literally my favourite. Oh my god, I love the next question, but we'll talk about English. I feel like you're either English or maths. It's like history or geography. I like geography. Um, I was so bad at history. We had to write something about the first or second world war and um, i can't remember which one lasted four years um i feel like this was the second but don't come for me i i i've not done history in a very long time i literally studied digital marketing um and i whispered to someone across the classroom like how long did it last and they were like but i thought that was 14 in my assignment we had to write like being someone there and I was like, it's the worst 40 years of my life. And the teacher was like, what are you on about? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Literally like. Oh, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> 
Okay, someone asked what how many languages can you speak? Um, I'm half Romanian, so I speak a bit of Romanian. Not a lot. <laughs> I'm just like very basic I when I was younger I literally used to be fluent in it like my mum would teach me all the time I feel like fluent is a very strong word I used to be quite good at it but I didn't go for about five years um for, for I don't know why just bad bad person but I have such a big family over there and I love them all mm. I want um I've already spoken to my boyfriend like I want a house in Romania and my friend Beth, um, we're literally speaking if he wants to go, I don't know Beth who will remember this, but we're literally saying that we want like a, we want to go to Romania and explore it, it's so amazing, like you can go down a salt mine um, in, um, near Cluj, I don't know if any of you know that, it's quite a big city in Romania and you can go inside the salt mine, there's like a ferris wheel and you can go in on a boat in a salt mine and like, oh it's just Romania is just an amazing place. It's the cheapest. Um, me and Owen went and we spent £150 between us in four days. And if you go on holiday, um, mm, I would normally take like £250 on a city break and I'd probably spend it all. Like, it's food. It's food. And I love to do everything touristy. Um, and I love the big buses you go on, like, that take you around and you see everything. Like, they're my favourites. Um, but like we literally spent hardly any money it was so cheap um and our accommodation there was like 90 pound for four nights which i mean if you want to go to manchester for the night that's literally like one night in manchester really um well i mean <laughs> there are a lot of hotels cheaper than that but i hope you get the gist um but yeah romania just has a very special pl place in my heart my mum's romanian um she obviously speaks it fluently um she used to be a translator um anyway i'm getting off on a tangent about my mum <laughs> but yeah i wish i could speak it better um i did try and learn it at the start of the year and i think i'm gonna continue to try and get better at it because i definitely want to have a house there one day my sister does as well so hopefully we can all put some money together my mum wants a log cabin though in the middle of the woods where like the bears and wolves are that's not bad you know what that would be lovely if like a hot tub and all this but like my anxiety says no <laughs> no 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 oh my god where do you see yourself in five years oh, i don't know do you know what i see myself doing this like let's manifest right lorraine dewhurst has got loads of subscribers that love her videos right and she's doing make she's doing what makeup i'm not very I'm okay at makeup. Yeah, but we'll self-love. Like, Lorraine Jewish has got a channel. It's growing. She can make an earning from it. Or I manage social media pages. Um, I definitely want to be engaged. Um, I don't know about married. How old will I be? I'm 23 a week today. Um, so, the week commencing the... 23rd of november if the videos are a bit all over the place it's because i'll have my birthday and stuff i'm gonna do a birthday vlog and like what i got for my birthday and all that fun stuff but um obviously i might not be uploading as much and well at the end of the week i'll probably like put all the videos like what i got for my birthday birthday get ready with me ah, and you're all gonna be like but then like i'll be silent for a few days though but follow me on instagram official lorraine dewhurst if you want to know when I'm uploading videos, I'll just message me and be like, hey. <laughs> I'll be 28. Do you know what? I'd like to be engaged and maybe like, near, like not married, but like it's coming up. Like, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what. I'd probably get married between like 28 and 32 like i don't want any children um right now i don't want any children and if i do ever want children it'll be like after 30 i want like 
so many years to like have money like to afford one um and i probably would only have one child if anyone's interested i don't think i'd want to um I'd, I'd like to but like giving birth scares me honestly i'm so scared of it is anyone else this way like i i don't even have a bad pain tolerance like at all like my boyfriend will tell you i do but i literally don't but i can't take it i would have to have an easy birth the first time i feel like i'm gonna die like i know that like so many women don't but i literally feel like it would be me wow i'm so positive god let's have a fun question i hope you're really enjoying this video i hope it's not too long but i'm having the best time filming this and i mean i'm eating good food as well so what would you do if you won the lottery oh my god me and emily speak about this all the time and me and emily as well we're literally just like we'll have a big house in outskirts of manchester both together um I think that I'd buy a house, I'd buy a Tesla, I want a Tesla more than any other car. I, my first car, like I have a Fiat now, um, but my next car I think I want a BMW. So I'd either have a BMW or a Tesla. I'd get my parents a house. This is if I got a big like... You know, like the lotto that's like a hundred million. I think that, yeah. The Euro Millions one. I do out know the lottery quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I give my parents a lot of the money. I don't know what else I'd do. It's weird to talk about holidays nowadays though, because COVID. But I probably would like to go on holiday. I probably have to split the money with Owen. Every time one of us enters the lottery, we're like, let's split it. Okay. Um, I'd really like to buy like a massive old warehouse. Okay. And rescue so many animals and have them all roaming around and I'll live like right next door or really close. Well, probably next door but i'll always have monitors people watching like and i just love to rescue like one for dogs one for cats and we can have like horses like i want to rescue them all and make a massive like instagram page and have pictures of them all and like meet people that rescue these animals but then we can always visit them so i know they're not going to bad people that is something i really really want to do in my lifetime like I just want to rescue so many animals and like obviously you can't have that many in your house um well i mean you can but i, I don't know is there a law on how many like animals you can have but it wouldn't be like say we don't have a big house can't have like 50 dogs running around and like 50 cats but i don't like how i don't know i just feel like I want them all to be so free and I don't want like small cages where they have to sit in. I know that, I don't know. It just makes me so, I don't know. It makes me so sad that I can't rescue them all. I know I can't. And I was watching Soph Does Life and she did a video um, that she just rescued a little dog from Romania. And she said that there's so many like applicants for all these different dogs. And it just made me so happy because I didn't even know that. Like... I know it might sound naive, but I've never um, rescued an animal. Like, our cat that we have now was my sister's, and she got, I think, like, she wasn't, she was, she is rescued, but she wasn't in a good place. I'm pretty sure, like, there was loads of dogs there, and she was just very scared. So, she's a very anxious cat. But, like, my sister um, came back home after a bad year at uni, and she got this cat in a second year of uni in a uni house, and. I mean, she can't help it. She's rescued two more cats as well, which I literally love. I love all her animals. Um, so little Selena lives with us and I wish we could have more, but she's obviously very anxious and doesn't like other cats. But yeah, it just makes me so sad. I wish we can rescue all the animals. And I know Emily feels the same. So if that ever happens, Emily, we can do it together. If I win the lottery, 
we'll have all these animals we look at we'll just look after them all day and if anyone else wants to join please you want to take this time out though and just be like how are you actually finding lockdown like i really hope that you're all okay um if you're not from the uk i'm sorry i don't really know what's going on in other countries i know that sounds that must sound very um ignorant and i'm very sorry about that but with covid it's it's hard enough to follow your own rules like i don't know what's going on um i know in america it has been very bad oh my god anyone watched Grey's anatomy and saw that the trailer of like Derek shepherd in her dreams <laughs> sorry um, america just reminded me of that oh my god i literally i could cry but let's not Oh my god, I've literally just ruined a bit of Grey's for you there, but like, sorry. But I really hope that you're all doing okay, especially in the UK, like we're in another lockdown. Um, I just... I want you to know that you can always like speak to me in comments and stuff. I'll always reply. Um, but I know it, it just, it's such a hard time. And I wish that they'd just done the two week circuit break like I thought they were going to do. Because I feel like, I know the virus is so bad and I just, I want everyone to be okay mentally as well. Like it's just so hard. And hearing about the suicide rate go from switch, it literally just makes my heart break. So I just really hope that you're all okay. And I'll try and put loads of videos out for you all. I'll be there for you all. Because I love you all. Okay, I'll try and answer some questions a bit quicker now because I'm just rambling and eating all my food. Um, So I asked for some assumptions as well and I got asked... I always try to look at the positive side of things and I'm the complete opposite. Like, I am so negative sometimes. Like, I'm very half glass empty and I try not to be, but sometimes I'm just so negative. But I'm trying to be positive. I don't like to be negative around other people, though. It's just in me. Like, I'd never want to just sit there and be so negative around people because I feel like then everyone else is negative. And I don't like that. Um... I got asked about my fave music taste, fave genre. Um, oh, I do love a bit of everything. I love a bit of cheese. I love a bit of, like Little Mix. Like, I love a bit of um, R and B. I love Drake. I love grime. I love like Skepta. Um, I love Summer Walker a lot. I love Ariana Grande a lot. Um, like. I don't know, R&B is probably my ultimate favourite. Like, if I'm going on a night out, getting ready, like, put a bit of R&B on. Honestly, best. I love indie music. I love the Wombats, Catfish and the Bottle Men. My mind's going blank. Um, the Cortinas. Mmm. I love all of them. Oh, another assumption. Um, you're a confident person. I feel like can be um it sounds really weird but sometimes i meet someone and it's their vibes like if they're quite stuck up or someone's overly loud then i feel like i shy away but if people seem quite chill i'm more out extrovert than introvert like i love people and going out and being social i feel like i make friends really easily but it depends who with. Some people make me feel very unconfident. I don't know why. So I could just get a bit anxious around people sometimes. And I feel like you just can't help it. Um, oh, wow. I love these chips. Have you seen me? I'm just not answering anything. I'm just like... Oh. Okay, that was the end of my McDonald's mukbang. Answering some questions. So I hope you got to know me better. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... It was so fun to film just chatting away to you all like you're all here. So, my hammer lipsticks come off. 
but yeah i hope somebody enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and yeah i will see you all for another video probably very very soon because <laughs> i'm really bored bye